So today what we're, we're going to do is we're going to do a head-to-head -head combat versus the DeWalt XR with a 5 amp hour XR battery against the Ryobi P251 ha brushless hammer drill with a 6 amp hour HP battery. So the model number for the, uh, the uh, DeWalt uh, hammer drill is DCD996. It sounds beefy compared to the Ryobi one. Sounds beefy, so I can't. I've been waiting for a week to do this, to do this versus. Now, so when it comes to the Dewalt, there's a three-speed selection on the top, one, two, and three, of course. But when it comes, I played with this for a little bit. Sometimes uh, the second speed gets stuck and won't go into the third. It's it's hard to select the second speed too because it just slides. A lot of the time but when you go into two perfect see that now as you can see it's getting stuck it's getting stuck in setting two it won't go to setting one so I, I don't I don't like that at all see it's in it's on two it won't go to setting one so now what I what, I, what you have to do is activate that put it back to three then it'll go to one now uh, but this does have the LED in the same position as the Ryobi. It's on the uh, it's on the base, but the Dewalt actually has a different uh, select uh, brightness selection uh, at the base as well. So you can have it on uh, low, medium, and high, which actually that's a useful uh, useful setting. When it comes to the grip, just like the the Milwaukee, I don't like the grip because it gets skinnier at the bottom, which means uh, I have big hands. Which means you have to the bottom two or three fingers you have to squeeze a little bit harder and it's a bit awkward to, to hold but the ryobi handle has the same thickness all the way around so it sits a lot better in my hand dewalt is a beefy tool it, is, it seriously is a beefy tool and both motors are brushless so i got the i got the specs for the dewalt right here uh, zero to 34,000 BTM for fast drilling and masonry materials, which, wow, I read the specs already on the, on the Ryobi. Uh, that's 10,000, uh, BPMs more than Ryobi. Uh, it's a half inch heavy duty chuck, which both the, the Ryobi and the DeWalt have metal chucks. You can tell that the design for the DeWalt has a little bit better grip when it comes to, uh, being able to fasten your uh, drill bits in. So the max RPMs is 1800 RPM. Blows per minute, which like I said, it's 24,000, which that's 10,000 less than the DeWalt. The DeWalt has 2000 more RPMs than the Ryobi does. So like I said, I think the DeWalt's gonna win, but the question is, is for how much? And if the price difference is worth that couple of seconds. The drill bits we're gonna use are uh, Milwaukee, actually. We're using Bosch and Milwaukee in this video. Uh, we're gonna use half inch, six inch concrete drill bits. And so these things actually look beefy. I, I like the coating that uh, Milwaukee puts on their, puts on their tools. We're also gonna drill some uh, Drill some, uh, use Ryobi bits and drill some holes in some wood and see which one, which one's faster when it comes to just how their drilling performance without the hammer feature. Let's not waste any more time. Let's just get to it. All right. So first we're going to use the DeWalt. We're going to use a half inch black oxidized drill bit. Battery is full. And so we're going to see how this goes. We're going to do two, uh, again, we're going to do two drill holes. All right, so three, two, one, go. Go. That wood is, that is hot. There we go. All right, so three, two, one, go. And there we go. 
And there we go. I got two of them. These are brand new. These are uh, these are Ryobi spades. So I have one and one eighth. We're gonna use them for both of them. There we go. It's on drill, speed three. Battery life is still full. We're gonna do one. Uh, we'll do we'll do one each. There we go. All right, so three, two. Actually, let's zoom in on this one a little bit. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Sorry, Robert. <laughs> Ryobi drill bit did it. Oh. Sorry, Robert. <laughs> Alright, so we got a, a brand new one. Both of these operate brand new. Alright, so we are good right there. Yes, we are. Alright, so that's in drill, speed two. Power on that's still full. Alright, so three, two, one, go. Sorry, Robert. The Ryobi beat the hell out of that. Oh my god, dude. So the Ryobi seriously dominated DeWalt on that one. Ser I was not expecting that. You know what? Just because, we're going to do one more. Let's do one more. I'm seriously surprised about that. Alright, so three, two, one, go. <laughs> Bam. Wow. Alrighty, so what we're going to do now, because of those results, we are going to use, do the same thing with a 4 amp hour battery. Fresh 4 amp hour battery. Inside. It's at 2. It's at drill. Alright, so let's do this. Let's see what the 2 amp hour battery, a 4 amp hour battery can do. Tighten that up. All right, so three, two, one, go. All right, it did stop, but I do not know what the results are. That's a time. So it stopped about five times. So let's see what the results are. Uh, so the timing's there. We're gonna do a three amp hour HP battery. Now remember, this is a twenty. This is a twenty volt, twenty volt five amp hour battery. We're gonna do an eighteen volt three amp hour battery. Do one more, one more, one more hole. All right, so three, two, one, go. Done. The time's there, so we'll just compare it to what the DeWalt did. Sorry. An 18-volt, 3-amp-hour HP battery is more powerful 
than a 5 amp hour 20 volt battery. The results are there. Alright, so we have DeWalt right here and Ryobi right here. I got a brand new concrete drill bit. We're going to give DeWalt the advantage and use the brand new bit on the DeWalt. And I got two half inch, six inch uh, concrete drill bits. So we have two brand new ones for two drills. This is going to be the pre-drill hole for the half inch. So we're, we're going to time each one of these and see what it does. All right, so three, two, one, go. <laughs> All right, so that's the time for that. All right, so three amp hour battery, full charge. All right, so three, two, one, go. Time. Let that drop because that is hot. My and you that is locked in. Hammer setting, speed three. Alrighty, so three, two, one, go. time wow my uh my body was seriously like sh like shaking like i could feel it to my ears itch a little bit now three amp hour hp battery it is full just so you see three amp hour all right so let's all right so three two one go <laughs> oh wait sorry i got that was in reverse all right, so three, two, one, go. <laughs> Sorry, we're actually there. Sorry. I didn't realize, I didn't realize the Ryobi went in that fast. I was already at the end. Sorry about that, Chuck. Yeah, my Chuck's all scratched up now. All right, so uh, yeah, Ryobi won that one too. And the difference between the two is actually insane. I, my body was completely vibrating with uh, with the DeWalt. My body did not vibrate in the slightest uh, with the Ryobi. Dominate with a 3 amp hour battery. I don't care if it's HP. Dude, Ryobi is a good brand now. Ryobi is a good brand. DeWalt's uh, highest temperature anywhere is at 68 degrees. Ryobi's highest point is 78 degrees. So the DeWalt stayed cooler. Now the DeWalt battery is still full. So the results are in. Ryobi dominated the DeWalt, the DeWalt doing these tasks. Now remember guys, Ryobi is no longer this type of company. It is now this type of company. Ryobi came a long way from this. It's that that's just how it is now, but this the Ryobi will not survive nearly as long as the Dewalt will on the job site. 
for the amount of times that, let's say you have to do that whole 30 times, Ryobi would probably, uh, the, doing that 30 times would just destroy the insides. You know, it'll still work, but the, that power that I have right now probably just won't be there in the future if I do that, if I do the, those, do this all day. But the, I, I think the DeWalt will lose power gradually, but not as fast as this. So like those are, you guys saw the specs, the stuff that I like about it, and the stuff that I don't. Ryobi 1. Sorry. Sorry, DeWalt and DeWalt fans. Now, the Milwaukee, uh, I did, uh, after doing a test against the, the, the Bosch drills, you know, the Bosch uh, concrete drill bits versus Milwaukee... I can tell that this lasted. This drill bit still looks really good. Now I only did one hole, but this uh, the Milwaukee drill bits completely dominated the Bosch uh, three quarter drill bit. Now I wish uh, Milwaukee made the three quarter size of this, but they uh, I didn't see one. You know that that isn't like uh, two feet long, uh, but yeah. Milwaukee makes damn good uh, uh, concrete drill bits. I, I like that. Ryobi's a good company. So that's pretty much it. Plenty of episodes coming. I'm doing versus videos with the blue uh, drill uh, blue tool soon against some other green ones. So yeah, <laughs> this is going to be completely destroyed by a different drill. But I just want to see the results just because. So that's pretty much it. I thank you, Robert, so much for letting me borrow your drill. He's a good friend of mine. And uh, he's not going to like these results, but but he is the man. You are the man, Robert. What do I say? Oh, oh yeah, that's right. This is David Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.